Growing up with many siblings, there were plenty of moments where territory and possessions were challenged, as many of you probably know yourselves. Recently, one of my brothers reminded me how he and my other brother, who shared a room, used to have different definitions of a clean room. The cleanlier of the two, more than once, would place a strip of masking tape down the middle of the room, marking off what was his and what was the other brother's. This is kind of like what we do in our relationship with God. Each of us, in some, or little, in some little or big way, we carve out a piece of our life and say to the Lord, this part of my life is just for me, and I will give over that part to you. There is a part of each one of us that we hold on to, a part of ourselves that we do not share with the Lord, a part that we are attached to. Where in our lives are you and I shutting out the Lord? In the first reading, St. Paul tells us about the wisdom of this age and how it is actually foolishness. The wisdom of our age tells us that happiness is found in possessing. It's found in excluding God from certain parts of our life. And this is, in fact, we know foolishness. The wisdom tells us that one, that one should either work so much to consume or that one should work as little as possible and, spec, and expect that others will give to them what they think they are entitled to. Either way, it's foolishness to think that possessing material objects or consuming oneself with one's selfish desires will bring happiness. Wisdom, in fact, is just the opposite. That in letting go of everything, which seems foolish to many people today, that in letting go of everything, opening self, oneself to God, it's then that we actually possess the most, God himself. Today's psalm reminds us that to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. It is this piece of wisdom Simon Peter and the other fishing disciples realized in today's gospel. After relying upon their own skills and knowledge all night, these fishermen caught nothing. They were left unsatisfied. However, the Lord tells them to throw, to throw the net to the other side. Simon Peter is willing to give it a shot. He's willing to open himself up to the Lord. There is not merely a realization that the seas, all the fish, belong to the Lord, but that I, Simon Peter, belong to the Lord. My brothers and sisters, it is true wisdom when we give ourselves over to the Lord, every part of our life, our entire self. It's because truly that we belong to the Lord, everything of ourselves belongs to him. And so it is our prayer to St. Peter, asking him to intercede for us, that by the grace of God, we might know that it is only by letting go and giving ourselves over to God's providence, that we will receive what we want most, Jesus Christ, and the eternal happiness that God has offered to us from the day of our baptism.